Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our showing of Marathon Man, 1976, the fourth selection in our current miniseries, Hollywood Villains We Love to Hate, produced by Robert Evans and directed by John Schlesinger, and starring Dustin Hoffman, Laurence Olivier, who plays the villainous Nazi dentist, Dr. Zell, and Roy Scheider. The screenplay was adopted by William Goldman from his 1974 novel of the same name. Robert Evans said the book was the best thing he had read since The Godfather. Evans wanted Laurence Olivier to play Dr. Zell, but Olivier had been seriously ill for some time with cancer, gout, and other ailments, and hadn't been offered many roles. So the director had to persuade Lloyds of London to insure him for a six-week filming period. Olivier was treated with heavy doses of painkillers while filming, so he could go to work each day. But the drugs affected his memory, and at times he could not remember more than one to two lines at a time. He actually filmed for 11 full weeks and derived so much joy from the project that his health rebounded, and he continued to act for 13 more years. He received an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor and won a Golden Globe for his portrayal of Zell. Marathon Man opened to both critical and commercial success. It earned $28.2 million on a budget of $6.5 million. Some critics actually claimed that the violence exhibited by Zell was necessary to the character, but others found it offensive. Pauline Kyle, writing in The New Yorker, dismissed the film as, quote, a Jewish revenge fantasy. Rotten Tomatoes said that Marathon Man runs the gamut from patient mystery to pulse-pounding thriller, aided by Laurence Olivier's cold, terrifying performance and a brainy screenplay by William Goldman. Marathon Man was filmed extensively in various locations in New York City, L.A., and Paris. Scenes of 86th Street in Yorkville can easily be identified under the opening titles, including the shot of the two cars colliding with the oil truck. Schlesinger sets the time of the film by shooting scenes of Jewish families in their best holiday togs on the way to High Holy Day services at the Park Avenue Synagogue. Dustin Hoffman runs circles around New York Central Park Reservoir and is also seen attending classes at Columbia University. Prominent scenes at the end of the film were shot around the 47th Street Jewelry Exchanges at the TWA terminal at JFK International Airport and on the Brooklyn Bridge. The white farmhouse scene at the end of the film was located in Pound Ridge, Westchester County. However, two important scenes were actually shot in LA. The scene where Scheider meets Olivier was filmed in front of the Red Step statue in downtown LA, LA in Arco Plaza. And the library where Keller was filmed was the Doheny Library at the University of Southern California. Other scenes in LA take place in the LA County Arboretum and Botanic Garden. In Paris, we see sites such as the Champs Elysees, the Paris Opera House, and the Cafe Le Dôme. Plot summary. Babe Levy is a graduate student at Columbia University who is training to run a marathon and is haunted by his, farmer's suicide, his father's suicide as a result of the McCarthy witch hunts in the 1950s. After the shocking murder of his older brother, he suddenly finds himself inexplicably hounded by a group of shadowy government agents on the trail of a Nazi war criminal and former dentist. One evening, Babe and his new German girlfriend are mugged while they are out for a stroll, which turns out to be a non-random act when someone close to Babe is found murdered. He's thrown into an international conspiracy concerning the dentist who is in hiding and plotting to relieve a large cache of gems that he's hidden in a New York bank vault. Fun facts about the film. Hoffman couldn't bring himself to shoot Olivier at the end of the film, so Chinatown writer Robert Town was brought in to do a last-minute, uncredited rewrite of his script. Hoffman lost 15 pounds during filming because he prepared 
for each running scene by running off screen for a half mile. So his breathing, breathing would be right for the shot. The chase scene with Hoffman running on the highway ramps took nine nights to film. Olivier and Hoffman did not get along well during filming. Olivier didn't approve of Hoffman's method acting, which involved staying up for days at a time to appear out of his mind with pain for the film's famous torture scenes. He actually commented to Hoffman, my dear boy, why don't you try acting? Marathon Man was the first feature film to use inventor operator Garrett Brown's new invention Steadicam, a camera stabilization system that was used extensively to film the running and chase scenes. The nickname gave, given to Olivier's character, Der Weiss Engel, the White Angel, was inspired by Joseph Mengele, the Nazi war criminal known as the Angel of Death, or Der Weiss Engel. The opera Herodiade is featured in the scene at the Paris Opera. Both the novel and the film contain a dental torture scene that is considered one of the most frightening sequences in film history. This scene was filmed during a period when Hoffman was going through a divorce from his first wife and was very depressed. He used his real life situation to inform his performance. Olivia derived inspiration for the scene when he observed a gardener pruning roses shortly before shooting it. He realized that at that moment, Sells sees himself as a craftsman, as did the gardener, using his tools with skill. During this same scene, Sell says that he's afflicted with Alexia, a brain disorder in which a person is unable to understand written words. During the scene where the bad guys try to drown Hoffman, ever the method actor, in the bathtub, he insisted on remaining underwater as long as he could. On the last day of filming, Olivier visited Hoffman at his home, bringing him with him his personal copy of the complete works of William Shakespeare, and proceeded to read scenes from his favorite plays to Hoffman's surprise and delight. The great runner, Abele Bikila, is shown in Hoffman's flashbacks running shoeless in the 1960 Olympic marathon. There are two pictures of long distance runners in Babe's room. One is Bikila and the other is a Finnish runner, Pavo Nurmi, a nine time Olympic gold medalist. Although Babe's proper given name is not listed in the credits, he does speak his full given name just once during police questioning after the method murder of his brother, when he shouts out, Thomas Babington Levy. He also quickly identifies himself as Tom Levy when desperately trying to get into his neighbor's apartment building and as the creep, because no one there knows him by his real name. When Zell first appears, he's listening to a classical German song accompanied by piano. The song is the curious one, by Franz Schubert from the song cycle, The Pretty Miller Girl. When Babe comes in from a run, you can see a book titled Corbett on his table. He was an American marathoner in the 1950s who was also from New York City and taught at Columbia. The scene where Roy Scheider is attacked on the terrace is witnessed by an old man in a wheelchair in the window of an adjacent hotel. This is an homage to a similar scene in Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, 1954. As Hoffman runs across the intersection near the drugstore, we see a movie marquee advertising Scheider's movie Jaws from 1975. The end credits scroll with Babe's jogging route as the backdrop. Things to look for. A typical reflection shot of urban buildings as seen in a car window. The 86th Street Retail Corridor in Yorkville. The man in the jewelry store with a tattoo on his arm. The road rage incident early in the film where two old codgers fight with each other in German and Yiddish from adjacent vehicles. Look for the medallion and key ring that Roy Scheider stuffs into a box of chocolates. Listen for one of Zell's famous lines, is it safe? Look for many recognizable locations in New York, Los Angeles, and Paris. The famous, or infamous as that may be, 
dental torture scene. Listen for Babe revealing his full name. Listen for the Schubert lead that Cell plays during his first appearance in the film. Note the posters are famous runners and the book about Corbett in Babe's apartment. Babe's jogging route under the closing credits. Can you spot the old man in the wheelchair who observes the attack on Scheider that is the homage to Rear Window? Now it's time to view Marathon Man. Sit back, settle down. Please remember, it may take a few minutes for the film to roll. Enjoy. <laughs>